Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be reacting to Life by Jen's new video, which is called A Little Bit of Everything, What I Ate Today for 10, 19, 20, and I am super excited. So what we're going to do in this video is actually compare it to the video that we reacted to just a few days ago, which was her What I Ate Today from 2018. Now, a few people were confused in the comment section because they thought that she should have been following keto protocols, but that wasn't the point of that video. Now, I'm not sure if this video she'll be following keto or not we all know that you know when it comes to life by jen and following keto she doesn't always do it exactly right but i'm not an expert when it comes to keto i just know like you eat a lot of meat and not a lot of carbs something like that so we're going to take a look at this video i am going to edit it down a little bit because it does get a little bit long-winded in some parts so just know that this video has been modified to fit the selective time slot so let's just get right into it i mean shall we so the beginning of the video is filled with a lot of jump cuts that are doing like coffee making i noticed that this is like gene's way of editing things you can just tell when it's gene and not jen editing the video it looks like they're going to start off the morning with coffee i do enjoy that mug to be honest with you guys that's pretty cute so it is 6 25 a.m and we're up having coffee. Jean made the coffee, as you saw. And I'm using my meow cup, and he's using my moo cup. So we had talked about in the previous video that Life by Jen was currently struggling right now. I'm not sure if she's getting back on track with keto. Like I said in my previous video, I think that if that's something that she wants to do, I think that she should probably just stop with the keto and maybe think of something else to do. It looks like we're still using the International Delight. He has milk and honey, and I don't know what else he's gonna have in his coffee, but in mine, I'm going to have International Delights, Caramel Macchiato. Not the best choice, I realize this. This is what I have right now, this is shopping week. So I'm gonna get something. I guess she's going to do one of her famous grocery hauls this week. She does do a lot of grocery hauls. And one thing that I noticed is that her grocery hauls usually appear to be extremely healthy. A lot of whole foods and things like that. You know, there's a couple of different things in there. And, you know, she always has a lot of meat because of keto and specifically and a lot of fruits and veggies, things that you have to, you know, get from the produce section and not just like picked out of a plastic bag, right? So I do appreciate that, but it doesn't seem like there's really any progress. So I'm just thrown off a little bit when I watch the grocery hauls. I'm trying to think of like what I'm gonna get. I don't know what I'm gonna get right now for my coffee. I definitely like to have my coffee in the morning, so. I have been having my coffee mostly black recently. I recently got some cold brew that I'm probably just gonna have black as well. But I know that's not for everyone. Not everyone can even handle the taste. I've heard a lot of people mention oat milk in the comment section, which I'm thinking about trying out. It sounds like it'd be pretty good. I do like oats. Cleaning this kitchen up that is a wreck from the weekend. That looks pretty bad. <laughs> that does look pretty bad. What is that machine? I'm not really sure. I've never seen anything like it. Is that a bread maker? I guess if she's on keto, it shouldn't be a bread maker, no? Of us doing nothing. So, you have anything to add to that? Sounds about Jane? right. All right, we'll see you outside. It's pretty jarring when it moves that fast, isn't it? So she does get up pretty early in the morning, it appears, what she said it was 6.30. I don't even wake that up, wake up that early. I just can't do it. That reminds me of like high school and that time waking up. Or when I used to work in a bakery, I used to wake up at like 4.30 in the morning. But now that I don't have to wake up that early, I usually like to wake up around 8 or 9 o'clock. 8.30, I think, is like a pretty happy medium. Okay, for the sake of time, we are going to, you know, jump around in the video, like I said in the beginning. So after she has her coffee, she goes downstairs and they do a little montage showing, you know, her enjoying her coffee while watching the sun rise. We notice that there's a Kroger across the street. I noticed the... Um, picnic tables, the one where she showed her kicking out Jean, which is another story. I really didn't appreciate that clip from Life by Jen. And right now they're doing a lot of scripture, reading scripture. Jean's really interested in the Bible and things like that. That is something that is taught a lot in recovery. Of course, it's not forced upon you, but it's a path that a lot of people take. So of course, I'm not going to, you know, criticize them for that. I think that's 
it, that can be very important for people. And, you know, it's not my place to say anything about that, even though I'm not really a practicing Christian at the moment. Um, I did grow up on that and there are some good people in the church. So we're just going to go ahead and skip over that. Okay. So it looks like it is breakfast time. So See what's on the menu. So we're making breakfast. It's around what? Nine thirty now. Mm -hmm. Almost nine thirty. We had our coffee, and now we're having yogurt. This is yogurt. So for a serving, there is one hundred and sixty calories for one cup. So. So there is a lot of talk about you know the calories and the food and things, but I'm still a little bit confused on whether or not, you know, that's important to Jen right now. We're each having. I guess it's always going yogurt. to be. He uses honey to sweeten his yogurt, but I do not use anything on mine. That sounds good. Mine. Honey and yogurt. I just eat it straight up. There he is over there putting his honey on his yogurt. I am going to throw on top of mine some blackberries. Those are nice blackberries. Okay. I'm not quite sure how many a serving is, so... Okay, so I think it's pretty safe to assume with the amount of carbohydrates and the amount of granola that she is not doing keto right now. But that's okay, because like I said, I don't think that she should. So that and 32 ounces of water is my first meal of the day. It's just after 12 o'clock, and we're going to have a kind of like little snacky snack. I don't know if we're going to have lunch later or if this will be it until dinner. Depends on how we're feeling. We both had doctor's appointments this morning. So pepperoni sounds good. Um, cheese in that wrapper like that. Like not my favorite kind of cheese. We are kind of hungry, but we're kind of tired. And Some we want to take a nap. Food. So we decided to have a little bit of snacky snacky. We're going to share this plate. So what I have here is some crackers. We're definitely not going to eat all of these crackers. Just a few each. And then I have are those some the club crackers. I feel like those are the best. They're even better than Ritz. I just really like the club crackers. Um, cheese. Processed, yes, cheese. It's white American cheese. And then we have some pepperonis. And then fruit and grain bars. Jean has the mixed berry. And I have a strawberry. And that's what we're going to have for a little snacky at 12.15ish. All right, this was our next meal, and this was around 3 p.m. That was about lunchtime, so I was just wondering. Maybe she eats dinner later than normal. Um, and this is leftover chicken noodle soup from the night before. It turned out amazing. After this clip, I'm going to show you how I made it. Also, we shared an apple with some okay, peanut so butter. Okay, some apple and peanut butter. I was thinking about making that one of my snacks, to be honest, that I'm having later in the evening. Um... Do you have to be careful with the peanut butter? A lot of people told me that in the comment section. I didn't even realize how many calories are actually in peanut butter, but with the apples, it's really delicious. And that was our next food. Stay tuned for the recipe for the chicken noodle soup. So this is how we made the noodle soup, chicken noodle soup okay. that I had for lunch. And it turned out amazing. So it was very simple. We made it in the Instapot. And I was going to make this as a separate video, but it's just basic and it was so quick. There was no sense of making a separate video. So I took one onion and I went ahead and I diced it up. Cooking and voiceover and some good editing. I could say that, like, you know, Jen's putting in some more work into her videos. You know, a lot more than some other YouTubers that we take a look at on the channel. I used my little cup dicer and got it nice and diced then i do I also think that if she was a little bit more consistent on her channel rather than disappearing sometimes for a couple months i do think that her channel would be doing better than it is right now if she was just more consistent with it and this is how their soup ended up turning out i have to say in the first clip that she showed the soup it didn't look as good but this looks really good they loved it so we'll probably show you who all we give it to and what they think of it next week when we make it again I thought that was pretty sweet that she makes her soup and gives it out to neighbors. The game, as you saw. It looks Jay, like we're having takeout. Really I don't well. know. I am so proud of him. He got everything cleaned up in the kitchen. She's, so she's saying that Jean has done it all. I'm very thankful for okay. him. 
I wasn't feeling well today, so he did really good, and I'm getting thankful. a little bit of Becky vibes. Thank you, babe. Okay. You're welcome. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get your face. Yep, cleaned out the fridge. All right, come over here now. All right. So it looks like for dinner, Jen is having some takeout. I believe Mexican food. You can just see all the grease on that. Is that chips? Just a few minutes ago, we're watching the Cowboy game. A little piece of Texas Jean is enjoying. And we decided to order something. Tried to make it as kind of healthy as possible. It's not that healthy, obviously. But this is mine. I got the taco salad. I wouldn't assume. She seems to really be gung-ho about the taco salad. We noticed in her previous video that she did make her own taco salad. Pretty little taco bowl. It has... That is Ground cute, beef though. and um, does it have rice in there? I don't think it has rice. I think it says lettuce, tomato, sour cream, um, queso. I think there's in there too. Mm -hmm. With my taco shell, and then Jean got burrito grande. Woo! That is a grande, mm -hmm. and it has everything in there. Yeah. Beans and rice and chicken and what would go on a plate is in there. Yep, everything's yep. just squished in there. Yep. And of course they send us chips and salsa. And we got this to share. I don't know how it's gonna taste and I don't remember the name of it, but it's some kind of dip. Is that a queso dip? Oh it doesn't say, it doesn't say what kind of dip it is. That looks divine. So I am just left a little bit confused on where Jan is going with her channel, to be honest. This uh video kind of stuck out to me as being a little bit of a troll in the thumbnail so we don't know if she's trying to you know do some sort of amberlynn thing with her channel now but you know she has always talked about being a weight loss channel in the past but that doesn't seem to be where we are right now i'm just very confused a little bit on where where it is but let's go ahead and watch her sign off and see if she gives us any clarification well i don't know how well you can see me it's dark and it's now raining i'll show you a little bit of the rain but it's like 10 30 at night we're gonna end the night by well we're pretty disappointed because dallas lost disappointing so we're gonna end the night we're no gonna get ready cares. for bed and turn in we try to get to bed between 11 and 12. try not to stay up too late because we get up around 6 every morning if not earlier so yeah i could imagine it would get exhausting living off of six hours of sleep every day that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of our day and what we did. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye, everyone. It seemed quaint. It seemed like a quaint little vlog, you guys. Usually, I'm not very impressed by Jen's videos. This one, um, it was okay. <laughs> I do like that she does a lot of her own cooking and things like that. She ended the day with takeout, but I'm still just left a little bit confused on where she's taking her channel and whether or not she is, you know, on a journey or not. It's definitely not keto. We know that thing for sure, but I don't know if she really talked about whether or not she was doing that or not on her channel. Of course, it's her, you know, choice at the end of the day, what she wants to do on her channel. I'm just left a little bit confused so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you have any tea what's going on with jen these days let me know in the comments down below and i will of course catch you guys in the next one bye guys